Okay, guys, um, back of part one and two. This is three. So come to find out, talking to all my doctors and stuff and ER doctors, they're saying that solumedrol can cause stomach ulcers, some stomach problems. You know, since I had the solumedrol last and I just had it two months prior, um, did that create something with my belly? Who knows? Could be. I started getting this belly pain and my belly button pain. And if you guys remember, if you go back a little ways, um, when I was doing the podcast and um, and just posting videos and stuff, keeping you guys posted and just sharing my journey of what I was going through, um, that started about a year and a half into Kesimpta. Don't know who's the culprit because you know. It's hard to say. Um, my neuro thinks it's the stones causing this. Um, an ER doctor said she doesn't think it's causing it. So I got to get to the bottom of it, right? Test. Somebody go in there, look around and be like, okay, well, you have stones. If we're going to remove them, let's, let's get it done. And let's see if it stops the belly pain that I'm having. Um, first, let's go down with the camera. See, I think that's needs to be done first. We know I have stones. Let's go down on my stomach and make sure I don't have any ulcers, anything else going on with my stomach. So that's what I want to happen. So I'm going to push for that. So today was the first day. Um, so I'll be waiting for uh, the gastrologist to contact me and hopefully whatever happens, I could do it by the end of June. Recover if I have surgery, recover Ju July and um, till mid-August. That'll give me six weeks. I go camping, guys, and I'm so juiced. I wish it was tomorrow because, yeah. I wait for this all year long. We have such a good time. And other family members are going this year. We're going to have a blast. Uh, <clears throat> so that's the update on me with health-wise. Everything else... Um, stable, no new lesions. Um, I had an MRI diet done in December. They didn't do one in uh, January because I just had one. They didn't do one in March because I just had it in December. So, okay. Um, so it just seems, you know, pretty stable and I do have more symptoms. I have tingling now, um, in my right arm hand and my right leg and foot that I didn't have before. This was coming on when I had the flare. I didn't have a relapse in January or March, um, just a flare, um, and I have the new symptoms that came with that. They have not went away. I thought, you know, the solumedrol was gonna stop that, but it did not. It did it. One neuro thinks, one doctor thinks that it was the, it's the MS causing that, Another one, and I think it is not. When I sit up and turn a certain way, that happens. If I'm laying down, it does not. Weird. I don't know. Is something happening, you know, pinching a nerve somewhere? I, I don't know. But um, I think eventually they'll get to the bottom of it. So, but I'm just, um, keeping up with everything else guys over three minutes. I got to post, I got to stop and then post number four. <laughs> Be right back.